Buick's Le Sabre used to be the brand's full-size sedan until it was discontinued in 2005 and replaced by the Lucerne. It had a lengthy history and reputation dating all the way back to 1959 that was familiar to many loyalists back in the day and used to be one of the best-selling full-size sedans on the market. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this classic 2004 Buick Le Sabre. Now, I really do miss big old traditional full-size sedans from American auto manufacturers, especially Ford's old Crown Victoria back in the 90s and Chevrolet's old Caprice too. But I really also do like the Buick Le Sabre. It's one of the last full-size sedans to offer six passenger seating. Now, this generation, which is the eighth generation, lasted from 2000 until 2005, and it was based on General Motors' G platform, and it shared the same platform with many other vehicles and General Motors lineup like the Oldsmobile Aurora and the Cadillac Seville. Now our Le Sabre we have here is the Limited and it also has the Celebration Edition package which comes with this blacked out front grille and then you also do have 16 inch chrome wheels too. Now here goes the key fob design for the vehicle. You have your lock, unlock, your panic alarm and your trunk release. Now, like I said, this is known as the white diamond exterior color. And it comes with a full-on tan leather interior. Love how the Buick logo is embroidered into the seat. Pretty cool there. And six passenger seating here. You don't see that in modern full-size sedans nowadays. <laughs> you have your power driver's seat with power climb and power lumbar. All right, now stepping on inside the Le Sabre here, it feels so nostalgic right now. In fact, my grandmother used to drive a 90s Oldsmobile back when I was a little toddler, and this feels just so familiar to it with the big old column mounted shifter, the six passenger seating, and then the f no center console up in the front. I really do miss it. And this Le Sabre we have here only has 68,000 miles, most likely driven by a grandmother. And then also, what you're hearing there is a 3.8 liter V6. You have a half leather wrapped steering wheel. Coming to your transmission, we have a four speed automatic, and it is a column mounted shifter. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the headlights and the hazards. Driver's window and the front passenger window are automatic. Let's go and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED arrow turn signal indicators. Now the LeSabre slotted in between the Park Avenue and the Century when it came to its price. And the Century, as well as the Park Avenue and Le Sabre, they were all discontinued in 2005 when Buick was trying to rebrand themselves. Now you also do have halogen headlamps. Powering the Le Sabre here is a 3.8 liter V6 that produces 205 horsepower and 230 pound-feet of torque. Now, fuel economy estimates, you're looking at 18 in the city and 27 on the highway. And General Motors use this powertrain in a lot of their vehicles. Now, competitors of the Le Sabre, you have the vehicles in the full-size sedan class. This included the likes of the Toyota Avalon. You also do have the Ford 500 and the Ford Crown Victoria and then the Chrysler 300.
power windows, mirrors, and door locks. Memory seat settings for two people. Chrome interior door handles. Now, even though I really do like that full-size car, American feel. This interior styling was pretty dated looking even by 2005 standards. Now the interior quality was okay. It certainly wasn't the best but it certainly wasn't terrible either. The materials are quite nice especially on the upper door panel, the armrest and on the dashboard but the build quality was certainly lacking. Um, some of the interior trim and pieces do feel a little bit flimsy and cheap and they feel like they're about to break apart. They creak a whole lot inside of here. And that's how many of General Motors vehicles were back in 05. The build quality they certainly needed to improve on. Now coming to the stairwell, um, I'm not a huge fan of this stairwell design, even if this was 2005 right now. And I just don't like the really thin stairwell rim. I guess I'm just really used to bulky stairwell rims that we have in today's vehicles. But you do have stairwell mounted audio controls and then you also do have temperature controls too and i wish many other modern vehicles would do that nowadays i'm you don't see temperature controls as much and then you also do have your cruise control down here too now one unique feature that you might be surprised about that the Sabre has is that it has heads up display and buick called it iq back in the day and it basically just gives you a digital speedometer it also shows you if your turn signal is on or off and you can adjust the image and you can lower it and raise it if you would like. And then we have also full instrumentation for the gauges. Really traditional looking setup here. Fuel gauge on the right and coolant temperature. Spinometer dead on in the center and then your tachometer is on the left. And then right here shows you your trip information and then it also shows you your coolant temperature, your battery state, the voltage, oil life percentage, tire pressure, oil pressure, all that good stuff. And then coming to the radio here, you do have AM, FM, and you may be surprised to find out that this vehicle also has XM satellite radio too. And this is all stock here, of course. And then you have a cassette deck. You don't find that on today's vehicles. You have automatic climate control. You adjust your temperatures right here. And then your fan speeds and your airflow, which is your different zones. And then you have your front window defroster, rear window defroster. And then you have a little storage compartment. Glove box. Slams right down. That's how I was talking about how the interior pieces feel a little bit flimsy here. But it is line what felt. I'm quite surprised about that. The seats are very plush. They're comfortable. They don't offer a whole lot of support. However, they won't hold you in place all that well. That's how many full-size cars were back in the day. But they're really good for long road trips as they just feel like you're sitting on a couch. And then right here, if you don't want to use this as another passenger seat, then you have cup holders right there. And then a little bit of storage too. Now as far as the way the LeSabre drives, one of the strengths about the LeSabre is that it has a very smooth and comfortable ride quality. It soaks up road bumps very well. Now it does feel like a traditional kind of Buick and what I mean by that is that it just feels like a rolling couch on wheels. Um, modern Buicks nowadays, they feel a little bit more buttoned down and you, they feel a little bit more nimble as well. This The steering is very vague and it's very numb and it's just not very predictable of where you're trying to go either. Um, it's just a very traditional kind of Buick and that's what many people wanted back in 2005. Many of the older buyers, however, they wanted a smooth and comfortable ride and they wanted something that was fairly easy to drive. But you won't find that in newer Buicks nowadays. Their steering and their handling are a lot better than these old Buicks. Then you also have OnStar up here, auto dimming rear view mirror, garage home link is also located right here. And then you have an integrated compass, map lights, and your sunroof. One touch automatic. I do miss the simple features of these cars won't find a big old infotainment system or head unit or a TFT instrument cluster. Really miss the simplicity here. 
All right, now let's go ahead and check out the rest of the Sabre. Let's go ahead and check out the rear seat passenger space as well as the trunk space. Now the trunk space in the LeSabre is huge. You can easily fit two full-size suitcases back here. I wish a lot of cars were like this nowadays. Huge amount of trunk space. And you have your cargo net too. Materials do follow through in the rear of the LeSabre. Still nice and soft touch on the armrest and the upper door panel. Now sitting back here, there's plenty of leg room back here and then there's also lots of headroom as well. But you will find dual map pockets, rear air vents, and then a rear center armrest with cup holders and then a ski trunk pass through. However, I'm really surprised that there's no headrests back here and I wish there was. <laughs> you have your map lights right there too. All right. So the 2004 Buick LeSabre was a solid choice for a full-size sedan, especially if you were looking for a budget-minded one that was value-packed, offered six passenger seating, and a very smooth and comfortable ride. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.